Yesterday you learned cutting with the blade and that's awesome but today I am going to save you so much time. Today is all about trimming. Trimming is just this, you have a clip and you're choosing where it starts and where it ends. Go to your timeline and hover your mouse at the start of a clip, you'll see a little trim icon. Click and drag left or right. Do the same thing at the end of the clip. This is the fastest way to remove boring parts and this is truly magical when it comes to DaVinci Resolve. It's called the ripple trim. When you trim the end of the clip and everything after it automatically moves over. It basically means no gaps. Step 3. The roll edit. Roll edit is when you change the cut point between two clips without changing the total length. Clip 1 gets a little shorter, clip 2 gets a bit longer. The cut moves left or right. To do it, hover right on the cut between two clips until you see the roll icon, then drag. This is perfect when the cut feels too early or too late. Step 4. The no dead air rule. Now we use these trims to fix the most common beginner problems. Pauses, boring parts, mistakes. Anytime you see a moment when nothing is happening, Happening, trim it out, cut it out, be brutal about it. Now, here's a simple trick. When you cut between clips, try to cut it on a hand movement, a head turn, a beat in the music. Cuts feel smoother when something is already moving. So your homework for today is take your day three edit, replace blade cuts with trims where you can, fix at least five moments where the cut feels off using a roll edit, make it 20% faster. Just remember, be brutal about cutting out stuff that you don't need without losing the story. Save the project. And if you found this video helpful, like and subscribe, and we'll fix your audio so your video instantly feels more professional tomorrow.